Let's learn how to integrate several Web 2.0 applications into one lesson where students can find all the information they need in one place. Now if you have a blog or a wiki hosted classroom website, you can do a variety of things. So this is my classroom website located at barnesclass.com and uh, we start pretty much every day here. So let's say I have my students in a computer lab what I might do is tell them to come to message board over here. So they're going to click into message board and uh, I, from there I'm going to guide them to classroom board. I've got a few different uh, message board forums here but I'm going to send them there because that's where I keep my classroom stuff and at this point I only have two of these in here. I have five classes so eventually this will grow uh, but let's say I'm with my uh, third period class and I tell them go ahead and click into period 3 introduction wall link. Once they get here, here are some instructions. So they could even do this outside of class since it's web based. Use the link below to introduce yourself to the rest of your third period class. Uh, and from there I've got a link to the other Web 2.0 application that I want to use. And What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my students to Wallwisher and you can learn more about Wallwisher here at Learn It in Five. Uh, this is a wonderful application to get students interacting online, and uh, they can come to a place where you send them. They don't have to be logged in. They don't have to have an account. Uh, it's a very user-friendly place. So here I am on the page that I'm going to guide all of my classes to. I'm just going to create copies of this for each class. So here I have given them some direction. Double click a space on the wall and add your introduction. Be sure it has a name. Add an image or video link if you wish. And I can show them here that I've done that. They click on that play, click play again, and I've got a brief little video uh, telling them what I'm doing. And I did this on YouTube. It's very easy to do if you want to do the same thing. Uh, students can probably do this because uh, uploading video to YouTube using webcams very easy and I think you'll be surprised that they'll probably want to do a lot of that. So from that point my students will come here, uh, they will find a, a space on the wall, they'll double click and they will get a post-it note. Now this one says Mr. Barnes says and that's just because I'm logged in but for them they will be able to put their name right here, uh, they can come in and write a message they can add a web address that maybe goes to some pictures. If they've got a place on Flickr, they could add that. There's just a lot of things that they can do. And this is integrating uh, different Web 2.0 applications and social media tools together. And the best part about it is uh, they start in one place, um, back at the classroom website or Blog. And from there, I can get each class to come in to create one of these. I can post them back on my site. Uh, it's just a really nice thing to do, a great way to start the year. And there's just a lot of things you can do with using Wallwisher or other applications like this and getting your students interacting with each other. And that is integrating Web 2.0 applications together in one place for a K-12 activity in five minutes or less.